Hey everyone, it's your boy Donald Trump, and today Spoon has asked me and Sleepy Joe to do a longer video today because apparently he doesn't do many long videos. So me and Mr. Sleepy are going to do a tier list because they were popular at one point. I don't know if they still are, but I don't really care. Say hello to the audience, Joe. Uh, hello. Terrific. You sound sleepy already. What are we going to be ranking? We are going to be ranking the Perca Colas from Call of Duty Zombies. Wait. What? Why can't I see Blaze Phase anywhere? Because that's a trash perk from a trash game. We aren't ranking the Black Ops 4 perks. They're all garbage and everybody knows it. Well, I mean, Bandolier Bandit is a pretty good perk. Look, Joe, Spoon didn't include it, so we're not ranking it. Can we at least add the Cold War perks? Fine, but only because the Death Perception jingle slaps. Death Perception! Death Perception! Well, it just might save your life! Okay, so first we begin with the beautiful Juggernog. Reach for me, Jugger Girl. S tier, no questions asked. We're off to a strong start here, Donnie. Next is Double Tap. Are my eyes seeing double, or are there two double taps in this list? Surprisingly, you are not seeing double. There are two different versions of Double Tap. One of them was used in World at War and Black Ops, and the other was used in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Double Tap is a beast perk in Black Ops 3. Stick it in S tier. Slow down, Sleepy Joe. We're going in chronological order, which means we're ranking Double Tap 1. And since you never played Black Ops 1, you wouldn't know how trash it is. So where do we put it? Well, I use it often in Kino and the World at War maps because I enjoy increasing my MP40's fire rate, but it also wastes a lot of ammo. I'm saying C tier. Can't argue with that, Donald. Next is Speed Cola. Are we going to start salsa dancing, Donnie? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Anyway, Speed Cola is a great perk. It's that good, it can even make your snail pace seem fast, Joe. Shut up, Donnie. You're only four years younger than me. Only four years younger, but 1,000% faster. Where are we putting Speed Cola? S tier? I would, but it has one flaw. In Black Ops 2, it loses the ability to rebuild barriers faster. A tier, then? Why not? Let's do it. Next is Quick Revive. This is instant S tier, Donald. I don't know why anyone would say otherwise. S tier for players like you who can't get to round 10 without using all three self-revives. If you used your perk slot for a better perk, you might last longer. I personally never use Quick Revive in solo. It breaks my enthusiasm to play, so I just wish I never bought the perk to begin with. But for high round attempts, I think it comes in pretty clutch. Coming from the guy who's never seen a two-digit round number in his life. Let's not forget in multiplayer, you can revive your teammates faster. That's only useful for people like me carrying you through an Easter egg run. I'm saying C tier. No way, B tier is where it needs to be. I suppose the bonus feature of receiving Mustang and Sally's whilst down in solo is pretty cool. I'll stick it in B tier. Hell yeah, hashtag blue wave. Shut up, Joe, you won't always get your own way. Sounds like it's stamen up time. Where are we oh, putting yeah. it? Drink Joe. it, baby. Bring Joe. it. Joe? Joe! God damn it, Donald, I'm just trying to have a little fun. Can you not sing when we're trying to rank these perks, please, Joe? Stamen up is complete garbage. The only time it might be useful is on Origins to counter the mud. That's it. It takes up a perk slot that could go to PhD Flopper. C tier. Don't be so stupid, man. Stamen up is amazing. Imagine running around on transit without stamen up. Imagine running to revive your friend on Origins without stamen up. Hell, imagine maps like Dare Eisendracher without stamen up. I've seen Easter egg guides for that map, and let me tell you, they always say stamen up is a good perk for that time travel step. Hmm. In transit, you have the lamppost teleporters, and in Origins, you can ride the tank. For DE, you may have a point. God, I hate that step. And guess what, Trump? I've been talking to Obama since I've been getting into zombies. Oh, no. And he recalls a time on Call of the Dead where, due to your poor choice of perks, he lost his ray gun because you couldn't get to his destination in time, and he bled out. My poor choice of perks? If he had PhD flopper, then he wouldn't have gone down. If you're a team player, then you'd understand that stamen up is B tier minimum. You all need to learn how to play the game, I swear to God. It's time to slide into your DMs with PhD slider. What did you just say? I said it's time to slide into your DMs with- No, 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 PhD slider, Joe, are you for real? Uh... Never refer to PhD flopper as PhD slider. PhD Slider will never compete with PhD Flopper. 
PhD slider shouldn't exist anyway. It always should have been banana colada. Uh, bananas what? It doesn't matter, Sleepy Joe. All you need to know is that it was an incredible perk idea that should have been introduced to Black Ops 3. I think you're more of an orange guy, Trump. I mean, you do look like one after all. Real smooth Joe, very classic, totally original. So what does PhD Flopper do? You're seriously telling me that you've never used PhD Flopper? Have you never got it from the Wonder Fizz Joe? Or maybe used it in Mob of the Dead Grief? I mean, I've seen the perk machine in Die Rise and Mob of the Dead. I keep trying to throw my Hell's Retriever at it, but it never gives me the perk. Joe, you are so stupid. PhD Flopper isn't on those maps. I could have sworn I saw PhD when I was riding down an elevator in Die Rise. Anyway, for me, PhD Flopper is going to be an instant S tier. To begin, I'm pretty certain that PhD Flopper is the product of three separate perk ideas Treyarch had. I honestly think that even if PhD just prevented explosive damage, then it'd still be considered S tier. But it does more than that. It's such a lifesaver if you run out of ammo, especially on maps like Call of the Dead in front of the lighthouse. Honestly, Joe, I can't stress enough how phenomenal this perk is. You are basically giving yourself a new explosive weapon when you have PhD. You just need to dive from a height. Joe, it's awesome. It's going in S tier. That does sound amazing. Okay, I agree with S tier. I imagine it is awesome to have the ray gun and PhD together. Deadshot Daiquiri. Oh God, where to begin? Now, before you start picking on me, I already know that the zombies community dislikes this perk. So you can have some relief that I know this belongs in D tier. Yeah, the fact that PC players don't get the auto-aim sucks. Luckily, we're not all like you, Sleepy Joe, so it makes no difference to me. Put it in D tier. Now, hang on, Joe. There's just one saving grace for this perk. What is it? There's just one thing about this perk that I like. Oh, no. Just one thing I like. Please don't do it, Donald. One thing. Please don't. Ha ha, Donnie, it's your favorite perk next. Mule kick. Shut up, Joe. Why, I thought you loved this perk. Joe, you're the one who unironically said that it's a good perk in Cold War. At least in Cold War, you don't need to pay 4,000 points for a third weapon. You can pay as little as 2,000, which I think is more appropriate. Mule kick must be a good perk because they updated all Black Ops 1 maps to have mule kick. They've never done that for any other perk. Let me explain it to you in a way you can understand, Joe. Imagine you get the ray gun from the box. Oh my god, the ray gun. I love the ray gun. Yeah, well, imagine you pick up the ray gun using your mule kick slot and then go down from splash damage because someone doesn't know what PhD flopper is. You get revived and then your ray gun has disappeared. All because you lost mule kick. 4,000 points and a ray gun down the drain. But you said yourself earlier, you don't buy Quick Revive in Solo, so surely you would pick it up in maps like Kino and maybe even the Giant. That way, there's no threat of losing your third weapon. You know what, Joe? You actually made a point that wasn't totally stupid. You are right. In Solo, I suppose it is okay to use. And in Black Ops 2, the maps Mule Kick is on all have a way to increase the perk limit so you can buy Mule Kick as a fifth or even sixth perk. That doesn't entirely justify buying Mule Kick but I suppose it's a point to make. So where do we put it? Well, I was thinking C tier at first, but now I am also thinking that in the higher rounds, if you do lose your third weapon, you'll have the points to recover quickly. So well done, Joe. You've convinced me that Mule Kick might be a decent perk. I'm sticking it in B tier. El Burro. Next is Double Tap 2.0. I don't think we need to discuss this one very much. You already said S tier before, and I agree. Yeah, it pretty much doubles your damage output, which makes any weapon two times stronger. Makes any weapon OP as hell. I'm pretty sure it increases bullet penetration too or something. I don't know, it's just a massive step up from the original. Okay then, S tier, moving on. Next is Tombstone. Gosh, I hate this perk. Why? It gives you everything you had when you respawn. You keep your guns and your perks. Joe, you said earlier if I was a team player, I would rank Stamen up as a good perk. Well, listen here, Joe. You have to bleed out fully and spectate to get your stuff back. It's such an awful mechanic. I don't know, Trump. I think the option between keeping your perks, then waiting around to respawn, or getting back up to help your team implements a unique strategic style of play. The only thing that actually keeps this perk out of D tier is the fact on Town Survival 
which is one of the best maps that a lot of people have played and enjoyed. You can use the perk in a glitch to get all six perks on the map. That's the only good thing about it, Joe, so it goes in C tier. I suppose C tier is closer to where I would have wanted to put it, so that's fine, I guess. As I said before, Sleepy Joe, you aren't always going to get your own way. Okay, Joe, we'll rank this one at the same time. Say it with me. Three, two, one. D tier. D -tier. Good boy, Sleepy Joe. Yeah, who's who is so trash, it'd just be easier to revive yourself with quick revive and get your perks back than using this. I mostly just die whilst in who's who mode because I only have the terrible starting pistol to survive with. Agreed, it's complete trash. Next is Blue Bolts. You did not just say that, did you? Relax, Donnie, I'm just messing with you. It's Electric Cherry, of course. Electric Cherry is amazing. I can't begin to say how great this perk is. Yeah, the fact that you can now reload a lot more safely, especially in a tight map like Mob of the Dead, made Electric Cherry a very welcome perk for a lot of people. And remember how boss the Blundergat and Electric Cherry combo was? That was God tier. Let's not forget how it perfectly fits the theme in Mob of the Dead, too. I mean, you already have these electrical ghost thingies. Not to mention some of the hidden features of Electric Cherry. The more bullets you shoot from your clip, the stronger the electrical burst, which deals more damage. There's another feature, too, which is cool. In the game files, it is called Grenade Pull Death. And when you go down with Electric Cherry, it creates a massive burst of electricity that kills nearby zombies. It's so cool. Nothing lower than A tier, in my opinion. I'm putting it with Speed Cola. It's not a god perk, but it does help a ton. There's been multiple occasions where I've been getting the Golden Spork in Mob of the Dead in the shower room, and I've been trapped. But thanks to Electric Cherry stunning the zombies, I had enough time to reload and dodge going down. It would be S tier if it actually killed the zombies in high rounds too. To be honest, I think it is perfect the way it is, but I'm happy putting it with Speed Cola. Next to Perk as old as Sleepy Joe himself. Shut up, man. Anyway, I think you'll agree here, Joe. I think this Perk is quite bland. Firstly, I never understand how they imagined this Perk to work in Buried. You have a Perk that shows you where all the Perks are, where the box is, and the pack a punch on a map where you can move the box with Leroy. And by the time you have unlocked Vulture's Aid, you'll probably have two or three of your perks already. What would have made this perk more useful is if the perk locations were random, that would have made this perk more useful. Of course, I won't ignore the fact that the perk makes the zombies a lot more visible and the drops. There's also the ammo and money bags you can pick up. What a load of malarkey. You've totally ignored one of the best features of Vulture's Aid. It's clear you don't play Buried that much. Why would I? It's a map for noobs like you. You've forgotten the green gas that allows you to stay hidden from the zombies for a few seconds. That feature makes the perk potential of S tier, especially mixed with its other features. Yeah, but this perk is only available on Buried. And with some of the problems I just mentioned, don't you think it needs to be a bit lower on the list? Honestly, it sucks that it's a Buried exclusive. I think you were quite right, Donald. If Buried was a larger map or had random perk locations, its icon feature would be a lot more beneficial. I think this belongs alongside Speed Cola and Electric Cherry and A tier. Hmm, if you think so, Joe, I just don't think it works that well. Next, we have Widow's Wine. Oh boy, is this perk good. It does multiple things. Firstly, it gives you new grenades which trap zombies in a web, slowly stunning and killing them. These grenades will also explode if you are attacked by the zombies, stunning zombies surrounding you. Widow's Wine also upgrades your knife, and it becomes a lot more powerful. Just from the fact that this perk stuns attacking zombies, which prevents you from getting trapped, this perk is an instant S tier, I feel. Don't you agree, Donald? Absolutely not. You know what, Joe? This is the most annoying perk ever. The amount of times I've been doing an Easter egg, tried to keep a crawler alive, all for it to get killed because of Widow's Wine is unimaginable. Oh, come on, Donald. Just remember to throw your Widow's nades. Okay, it's not that bad. I'm just annoyed about how many runs I've lost solely because I've forgotten to throw my Widow's nades every round. Okay, shut up and just put it in A tier, then where it belongs. Oh, uh, fine. And finally, we are done. If you liked the video, please leave it. Wait, what about the Cold War perks? Oh, don't worry, Sleepy Joe. I'll handle them. No, Donald, you can't just... Shut up, Sleepy Joe. Spoon asked for a longer video, and I think we delivered. Well, we've made quite a good tier list, I'd say. Yeah, it's not bad. 
Anyway, Joe, I need to go. I'm having a debate with Hillary about why transit is a good map. I'll catch you later, Sleepy. Bye, Donald. Okay, is he gone? I need to make a final adjustment. Beautiful. It can't be a perk tier list without Blaze Phase. Wait, why am I talking to myself? I think it's time for a nap. Just like 